Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. As you guys probably know, Battlefield 2042 will not receive a single weapon from now on, now that Season 7 has come to an end. And I kind of felt like now is the time to do a full weapons comparison between Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 2042, now that every weapon for Battlefield 2042 has come out. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to see both weapons independently uh, being fired, and then we are going to compare the empty reload versus the tactical reload side by side. So that is what's going to happen for every single weapon that is actually in both games of Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 2042. So if you enjoy the content, if you are a Battlefield fan, this channel is for you. So consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel because it only takes one click and you won't be missing on the future videos. So let's just not waste more time and get straight into things. Taking more sectors than the enemy.
Under control. Sector secure. So as a summary and my final thoughts about the weapons, in my opinion, Battlefield 2042 has better reload animations in general. However, Battlefield 4 has better sound quality. The weapons feel like more realistic when it comes to recoil patterns and also sound quality. As you can probably see in the videos, Battlefield 4 weapons sound uh, quite more realistic. They're louder essentially louder and that's what makes me think that 2042 is just lacking that part of uh like weapon quality that battlefield 4 had however in reload animations i believe 2042 has more variety the reload animations look a bit cooler compared to battlefield 4 where reload animations are just simple people didn't really care about those things that much back in the day and i do believe people still don't really care about those kind of stuff what made battlefield 4 special wasn't like any reload animation or anything like that. It was the essence of Battlefield that was a part of that game. It was a very important part of Battlefield 4, and that is really lacking in a game like 2042 and even Battlefield 5. So with all that said, it's time to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. Go down in the comment section and let me know what you think about the comparison, and let me know what you think about the weapon quality in both games. Until next time, guys, stay cool.